Hey, everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing, Guidance, and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of our Divine Feminines, all right? So all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine, hunty, you can go ahead and get at it because this reading right now is not for Jew, all right? This reading right now is not for Jew Masculine. Let us go ahead and jump into this reading, you all. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here. For the twins on today, what are the messages here for our feminine, shall I say? All right, we have artists, okay? Expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically, okay? So you could be an artist, your person could be an artist, okay? We have engineer, okay? Ability to give creative energy a practical expression. Talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. Okay, so we have an artist and an engineer who are paired. Beautiful energy. All right, we have mediator here in reverse as the underlining. All right, and we have father coming out. All right, talent for creating and supporting life. Positive guiding light within a tribal unit. Okay, so this person is showing up as an emperor because the father is like the head of home or the head of the family. All right. And with mediator in reverse, it just makes me feel like you guys are not able to come to a middle ground or some sort of understanding. It could be because one of you is more artistic and creatively expressive and the other one is more logical, more analytical and methodical, you know, where things have to go together a certain way. Both are innovative and very mm, creative, if you will, if I did not. I mean, artists, yes. Engineers, yes. They have different ways of going about expressing their creativity you understand what i'm saying so that's the thing with the mediator it's like you're having a difficult time finding that middle ground or something okay let us see it says negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda either personally or professionally okay so this person could feel like someone gave them bad advice on purpose Okay, or they're just not sure how to deal with this situation, period, whether advice was provided to them or not. Okay, so let us see. Hmm, I'm going to pick from this deck. Okay, you guys can't see me, so <laughs> you're probably like, what the hell is he talking about this deck? All right. <clears throat> All right, for me, what are... We have anger, <clears throat> excuse me, anger and karma, yeah. So someone is angry. Someone could be angry because of the karma that they are receiving, message of warning and message of guidance. Yeah, someone is angry because of the karma that they're receiving. And so what they're doing is, <clears throat> it's like someone is giving them bad advice because they didn't get what they wanted out of life or something like that. Like something didn't go the way they wanted it to. So they're giving whoever this person is more than likely your masculine, if not you, bad advice, okay? Spiritual message as the underlining, yeah. They're giving them bad advice on how to handle the situation. Someone could have just said like, hey, you know, you guys are too different or something like that. Let me see. <clears throat> I see cats out the bag. So this could be one of those things, cats out the bag. Okay, ish talker. Let us see. Wanting your touch. Shortcut fade. All right, long nails. Workers' hands. I'm sure they have workers' hands. You probably have long nails. December is here. Okay, when it's all said and done, you're the one for me. Okay, 57, 44, 21, 11. Okay, really interesting. So this could be how long you've known each other. Okay, this could be your ages. Okay, this could be birth date numbers. Okay, such as 7, 11, 21. Okay, life path numbers. Okay, such as 7, 11, 44. All right, 21, which is 3. Okay, let us see. <clears throat> Getting all of the messages out, laid out, and things. All these cards. All right, I am going to go with this one let's get into the tarot yeah so someone is coming towards you quick to 
reveal something or let you know something, okay? You have been healing your heart from this situation. Ace of Wands. This person has a spark to come towards you. They feel like you spark their heart or you ignite their heart or something like that, okay? They have this love or this loving feeling for you that they just want to express, okay? The Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> and it flipped itself in reverse initially. This person feels like the relationship could have been very one-sided for a really long time. And that's partly because, yeah, we have Emperor and Six of Cups. The example that they saw through someone else, okay, or again, their father could have told them certain things. We got the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is an artist. You have a very high vibration. Ace of Wands could be your paintbrush. The Ace of Cups, you know, is your, your heart, your passion. You do things from your heart, things that you're passionate about, you give your all to. Then we see the King of Swords. That would be like that engineer energy. You get what I'm saying? This could be your job, AKA professions. One second, you guys. Or this could even be <clears throat> just your personalities. All right. How you are as people. But Seven of Swords here. Yeah, there's a secret that this person wants to reveal to you. That's that cat's out the bag. All right. King of Pentacles. All right. Very dependable, reliable person. They want to make this offer to you. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. It is December right now. All right, I just thought about that. Five of Cups, because that December card came out. Six of Cups. Okay, so in the past, something about them being immature or not ready enough to handle something. Could have also been not ready enough to be a father or not ready to be a father. Yeah, King of Wands is like accountability, leadership. They could have been in a position where they weren't ready to be a father. Now, some of you could have been expecting with this person. Okay, or you could have had childhood children. You could have child children, I mean. You have eight of swords. Okay, eight of swords is being stuck in their mind about something on repeat. Four of swords and just wanting to free themselves. Free themselves mentally. Heal their heart. Okay. We have the Hierophant, the Nine of Pentacles. They feel drawn to you. Spirit keeps pointing them in your direction. Two of cups, they're in love. Three of cups, all they want is a reunion. Three of wands, and this is coming in the very near future. This person may be a very hard worker, but they are realizing that you guys are similar in many ways. Where you showed up as the Queen of Wands and you know, the more artistic, creative type of person. Um, they show up as a king of swords, the more logical, you get what I'm saying, person, analytical person. Then they showed up as the king of wands, and now you're showing up as the queen of swords. So I feel like you guys have found some sort of balance, or in some ways you're realizing how you really are similar as opposed to all the ways that you're different or something. This could be them. This could be what they're thinking. Okay, yeah, we got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Yeah, they're realizing in what ways you guys are similar at the soul level, at the core level. And now, Nine of Swords, this is all they think about. They're stuck in their mind about this. This person feels indebted to you in some way. They feel like they owe you the world because in some way they made you feel as if... Hmm... <clears throat> As if you weren't good enough when they were the ones who felt like they weren't good enough. You know, Five of Swords, it's like they caused you to feel pain because of the pain that they were feeling. Um, but you healed yourself. You know, you healed yourself. And now this person is like, oh, man, I should have went out on faith and not by sight. Or I should have did what I felt like I should have did with the King of Cups, which is trusting my intuition as opposed to doing what other people told me to do. Yeah. King of um, Wands, King of Swords. So we got all the kings here. That's that person clearly saying that they should have been their own man, you know, but they weren't ready yet. So they had to grow into and become this emperor. Now they're ready. Now they're in that energy of I make my own decisions. I make my own moves. I do what I want to do when I want to do it with who I want to do it with, you know. So we have the sun card and the star card. Yeah, they're very happy. Okay, they are very happy about this connection this relationship this twin flame journey and experience yeah the empress they're very happy three of pentacles to be working with someone like you and again they feel like they have to make something right with you with the justice card here and the knight of swords they feel like they have to make something right with you immediately yeah the hangman they just don't feel right they don't feel right so they're like i have to do something about it period that's on that that on that on that right <laughs> 
All right, let us see. Pull some of these. Okay, so we have my soul is exposed whenever you're around me. Yeah, that's the king and queen of cups. Okay, my soul is exposed whenever you're around me. So again, I should just listen to myself. Wanting your touch. When it's all said and done, you're the one for me. Okay? No one replaces you in my life. 11, 11, 11, 11. Yeah, this is how you both feel. Mirrored souls, mirror energies. Nobody replaces you. Nobody replaces them. You are resilient and I admire your strength. You see, they know that it's been painful. They get it, you know. Um, also, again, someone is angry and they could be wanting you to get karma. We're going to look deeper into those, okay. We have angel number 222, find balance, okay. I gave away too much of myself to people who didn't deserve it. I am healing. Give me time, okay. I don't mind working to earn your trust. Yeah, so again, I feel like it could be them. They could be angry because they're getting karma for something that they did to you, you know, or something like that. It says, my love for you grows with each passing day, okay? Underlying the energy is March, April, May, okay? Ascending together. This is the best experience of my life, life partners. Didn't I say that? That they're grateful for this experience, this journey, and all that stuff? All right, now, again, just to confirm... I want to look into what is this anger and karma about. All right, what is this anger and karma about? The Page of Wands, okay? A message, Ace of Cups of Love, Page of Cups. Somebody wants to reconcile or apologize. Again, yeah, justice, eight of cups, someone got karma or someone is getting karma right now for the things that they did to you. Ten of swords, yeah, death card. So they're going through some sort of rebirth, transformation, change through your pinnacles, and they understand in order for them to make right, they have to balance it out. It's something like that going on here. Now, whatever they choose to do, I mean, clearly they're going to choose to do the right thing. That's what it looks like, queen of swords. It's just about how you deal with it, what you're going to do. Because the Queen of Swords is here as an underlying. Some of you may just decide to move forward if you feel like this person is just coming towards you to offer you sex. And I say that because the Ace of Wands was about to come out again. And the Ace of Wands is what we started with. So if some of you feel like Seven of Swords, that's what they're after. Like that's their hidden agenda or something. Like remember Mediator, somebody coming towards you to make it seem like they want to make up. And they want things to be better. But in all actuality, they just want one thing if that's what it is you're just going to queen of swords move forward four of swords is peace of mind rest yeah you're resting easy because lover's card is the underlining even though you know this is your person five of swords if they're coming towards you like to pose some sort of threat to your vibration and where you have gotten yourself to now like yeah, if they're trying to cause any sort of hardship or burden any sort of dead weight at all to you you're going to release them the Ten of Wands. That's it. You're going to get ghosts. Hermit. It's not going to be hard to figure out why. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles because that's what you're focused on. Since it's security, you're going to get ghosts on them. Hermit. Okay. Ace of Swords is here. Clarity. All right. Two of Wands. They have the choice. They can bring this to your awareness, see what's going to happen from there, or they can continue to move this way. And of course, that part is not going to resonate with everybody. But with the Queen of Cups here, you're very intuitive. You're going to pick up on what it is that they're doing and again, move on. Six of Swords, okay? So I feel like that's the, the thing. They have to come correct or you're just not interested, all right? So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and Henry.